Rocco Reni of is Fiji is referee Willie Lossi alongside me. And Willie, fatigue, a factor, but these guys, yeah, these yeah, important no, points they're playing for here. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to be making sure that you stay alive in the series when it comes to the business end around Paris and London. So you want to try and get as many points as you can in these tournaments. Hang on. So, final match of the weekend. Kicking off for Kenya and Canada. Canada in there. Hey, hey, hey. All wild, predominantly okay. white strip. Harry Jones coming down rather heavily. The referee deciding there was uh, no foul play there. And Isaac Kate, good strong boost. And now Mike Foylefau taking play up over halfway. So Canada, first opportunity to attack, and they bring the big man Zaruba into the play. Is one of the most powerful ball carriers in the sevens game. Taken quickly by Moonlight. Away to Jones. And the two experienced players combining to put Canada in front. Yeah, perfect start for the Canadians. They've controlled the ball and they've taken good options as well here. The Kenyans and fringed. And then Moonlight to his captain Jones. Easy as you like. Nice little touch there too between William Barker and Harry Jones after this try had been scored. Nice little gesture, great thing about our sport is exactly that, the sportsmanship here between two players. Well, these teams, they play each other a lot. They stay at the same hotels. Great respect amongst them. Fantastic atmosphere amongst the teams too. I have to say, a couple of times staying in the same hotel, well, you've done it countless occasions. It's all business when they get out on the field, but off the field, yeah, a lot of respect. Well, Fowl, well, he's done it pretty well this weekend, Mike Fowler Fowl. He's had to take over a lot of the kicking duties from Nathan Hirayama, who is one of the more accurate kickers in the game, it has to be said. For a, a big man, big forward, he's shown remarkable skill. Well, exactly. He's normally the one that's chasing the kicks that are actually put out towards his direction. So, filling in the new role, and he has done a good job, I agree. Not on that occasion, though, and it gives Kenya an opportunity from the free kick. Andrew Amonde, who's done everything to keep his side competitive this weekend, but it just hasn't happened for them on day two. And Jira fires it wide. And, uh, Kenya, can they find a response? Long run across field from Billy Odiambo. Amonde is there in support. It's Billy Odiambo who clears. Aguero. Oh, can they get it out to Njiro? Njiro, in fact, uh, playing one in off the wing. And finds Bush and Wale. The return pass, Njiro. Aguero building here for Kenya. Nice delay, straightening as Mbaka, but the ball's been lost. Oh, now it's hacked downfield by Canada. It was uh, Lucas Hammond. Uh, Bush and Wale has got it. On the neck. Nah, they were no, trying to hold him up, but they got him around the neck, so it's a penalty. Big talking point out of this weekend. Njira, Amonde running on a nice angle, losing the ball, though. That kind of sums things up today for Kenya Willie. Yeah, it really has, and great tackle coming in from John Moonlight. Amonde, the captain there, putting the hand up, and Moonlight, the usual captain, but hasn't been in camp for them when they headed into Wellington, and there, just the experience of knocking the ball out, there is Amonde, is saying to his teammates, sorry, fellas, should have controlled it better. Let's go, John. But they are exhausted. The heat, the humidity, go, and the fact that this is their sixth game. Energy sapping conditions. Five. It's tough enough in seven. Six. Even in cool weather, it's a tough weekend. Which has got up over 30, but it's really the humidity that has impacted. Oh, Harry Jones opting for the long kick, and that's a beauty. It's peeled off a good 55 metres there. Nice clearance from the skip. He's pleased with his work, gives him a chance to dig, take a couple of big deep breaths. The maple leaf in the crowd. Distinctive Canadian flag. Oh, 
And Baka. Been one of their best over the last two weeks. William Baka. Still looking for an equaliser here. Uh, the Kenyans. Just running out of room down the right-hand side was Billy Odiambolt. And Jira is there, but he's wrapped up by his opposite number. Harry Jones flings him to the ground. He'll have to get out of there, though. Harry, he just couldn't. It's always an awkward one. Now, Aguero flings a long pass, but took an eternity to get to William Barker. Brushes off the first tackle, though. A little in and out. He's going to have Hammond. Oh, he's done it for dinner. William Barker, he's a big man. Well, a lovely swing is in and out there. Well, he got the ball, and it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Got around here, yeah, Mike. Kuali Fowl came at him first and he got around him with these and then the sweeper came in and look at the way that he comes infield then out in out the fend the acceleration 81 tries in his career William Barker gets his first in Sydney and it was worth the wait well he was their best player in Wellington and he's continued that form on he said a big bunch of Kenyan fans who gathered down the far end of the ground to where the try was scored wide but it's all tied up five all William Bucker if he keeps this going he'll become the third Kenyan player behind the brothers Collis and Jera and Humphrey Kayanga to reach 100 tries back on so not down Austin but forward, forward by Luke McCloskey Frustration. The uh, number five for Canada. All the fives at the moment. Five seconds to go. First half. Aguero. Fine. Set. Here's the sound of the Kookaburra. Time for the scrum. Orlich onto Odiambo and Jira gonna have a go on the outside. Oh, good tackle from Zaruba. All in Dutch is half time. Well done, the big man. He's been a destructive force with ball in hand, but that's a great defensive effort, uh, effort on one of the most attacking weapons in the game. Wow, that is unbelievable from Adam Zaruba. We've seen him with ball in hand, and they're caught on. To make a tackle, as you say, show the deal on the sideline and make sure that kids have been great. Participation from the fans has been great, and the rugby's been very good as well. No. Who's it going to be? Well, Canada. Have ball off a Kenyan mistake again. Justin Douglas gets it away. Isaac Kay. Oh, good tackle. Nelson Oyu. All in touch. Well, he was outweighed in that. That was a, a welterweight taking on a light heavyweight, and who won? Exactly. William Bucker, the target for Kenya at line out time. Try and work it out. Good strong run from Billy Adi Odiambo. One of those players who just loves to get hands on the ball, get involved as, as much as possible. Oh, awkward pass, though. Absolutely nothing you can do with something like that. That's uh, John, asking the impossible John, of Nelson. Oh, you. Scrum or line up? You got up to. Scrum now? Scrum now? So, Canada now get. Prime attacking ball guys. from the scrum. Crunch! Fine! Sit! Now they've got it. McCloskey, Jones straightens though. Aguero going over the top with the tackle. Awkward ball though, squirts out. 
And uh, snapping it up is Ulyich for Kenya. Now a chance to break out. Lovely hands from him. Wally puts the foot down. But Fowler gets back, makes the tackle, then wins the penalty. That's classic breakdown play by Mike Fowler So, Fuala foul. And Samoan origins. Father, in fact, a, a Samoan representative. Went off to uh, Canada on doing some missionary work. And that's where he met his wife. They moved to Canada. And here's Mike Fuala foul. Uh, Samoan Can Canadian. Time off, please. Yeah, this is the mark. Move up, wait. Move up, wait. Push back, push back. Referee Tavita just gets the spacing in the line out. Hammond moves it wide. McCloskey. And uh, they give it to Justin Douglas, trying to get on the outside. Again, Kenya's defence is good, and it's OU who does it again. Hammond, they bring it back the other way through Moonlight. Zaruba, this time in the middle of the park. It's not his best work, the, park, uh, the pass to Fuala Fowl. Back on halfway, but he's got good strength. Threatening to lose his shorts there for a moment. Gets support from his teammates. Canada's just looking for the one strike they need to break this game. Jones on, oh, lovely ball back and field to McCloskey. Taken from behind by Mwale. Reached over the shoulder. It's a penalty for incorrect entry. Behind the handles. <laughs> Thank you. Don't make off. I don't know whether it's so much a matter of slow down or just arrive on the spot where they needed to be. That some of these players are just gasping. Fawaila foul. Here's Hammond. He's going out along the chain. Jones. It, uh, a nice double round from Hammond. Makes a little space for Justin Douglas. And finally, Canada crack it open. Well, this is not the hardest try he's had to score this weekend. I've certainly got him, not, if not in, on the fringe of my all-star team selection, dream team for this weekend. <laughs> Cheapest. There's a candidate for the worst kick, not just of this weekend, not just of today, but the whole series from Harry Jones. That one just, just about ran along the 22 line. Now here's Justin Douglas, five tries for the weekend. That was probably the easiest of the lot. A 10-5. That's okay, that's fine. Bit of a mid-air collision, but Mbaka is able to claim possession. And, uh, Kenya have it. Daniel Ruck. Sakuta fighting for ground just out from the 22. Moved on by Oliech. What Canada have been able to do is pin Kenya inside their own half. Just haven't had too many opportunities. Sakuta again. Moves it wide. And Jira's waiting out on the wing. In fact, it's uh, Busham Wale who's Ruck. ranging out wide. But he's had to go in and help out at the tackle. Sakuta sends it back the other way. Step from Aguero, and uh, a second step as well. Now he turns it back the field. Now it starts to open up. And Barker, he's going to back himself on the outside. And Willie and Barker crawls his way to the line, penalised. Well, there was a magnificent piece of desperate defence from one of the Canadians. That was Hammond getting back. And Lucas Hammond.
No. But have a look at this. Oh. There, he's not held, so that is not double movement. That is a very unusual call. You've got to be held to play it again. There's nothing wrong with calling. Big call. Number five. Thanks. Time to go. Well, that's a tough call. I'll tell you what, the, uh, Let's go. it's Lucas Hammond. His heroics yeah. maybe have cost him place the rest of the tour. And now they're getting into all sorts of trouble. Oh, Harry Jones. What That's were you body. thinking, he says. But it's all over. And that brilliant piece of defence from Lucas Hammond, a rather controversial call to come after it, though. But eventually, they get the ball over the touchline. And some relief for Canada, really, more than celebration at the end of the weekend. They win the playoff for 13th place, defeating Kenya by 10 to 5. Russia, France up next. Greg Clark with the call.